Hello everyone, this uh, video is about the handlebar braid, uh, the white and red color scheme on the Baker Express uh, makes to have a blackened handlebar in my honest opinion or probably it's in my head that I needed the black ones after I saw it installed on a Himalayan. I looked online to see if there are uh, any other options and frankly for the price point that is 2500 in Indian rupees I didn't see any that offers the same level of quality um, at that price point. Uh, these are aluminum handlebars and weigh considerably less than the steel ones that come stock with the interceptor. The best part is that these are sold by Royal Enfield uh, with their branding. So one could argue that uh, these actually look stock. Uh, right from the factory. This whole process should not take more than an hour. Uh, the way that I went about doing this is I first removed the mirror assembly from both the sides uh, then just loosened the switches on either side uh, because the switch just would come off uh, with the handlebar already installed. Because there is not enough uh, slack in the cable uh, that's the reason that you need to uh, first drop the handlebar onto the gas tank and then try to get a correct angle to get the uh, switches assembly on either side out. Before you start disassembling the handlebar I would recommend putting a cloth or a towel on your petrol tank to ensure that it doesn't get any nicks and scruffs while you are removing The switches are bolted onto the handlebar with two screws that need to come off uh, from either side. Just be mindful that one of the screws is a tall screw which actually goes through the assembly uh, so just be mindful of that when you want to reassemble the switches back. Once you have removed the left side switch, it's uh, a good idea to put one of the screws back in it just so that it holds it uh, in place and you don't uh, end up missing. Uh, and internal. It used to be a difficult task in getting the grips off the handlebar before I learnt an easy way to do this. Uh, the way that has worked for me uh, is to put in a screwdriver and just uh, squirt some WD-40 on both ends and uh, leave it there for a minute. Uh, the chemical in the WD-40 loosens the rubber grip and also provides the necessary lubrication to slide the grips off the handlebar. On the right side, all you have to do is loosen the mirror assembly and the throttle assembly. You won't be able to remove it as there is not enough slack to slide the throttle assembly with the handlebar still in place. Uh, again, the same goes for the clutch lever assembly. There is just not enough slack to slide these out. The way I went about removing the clutch and the brake lever assembly is by actually removing the handlebar with these levers still on them. Uh, the angle when the handlebar falls over onto the petrol tank just makes it easier to maneuver the levers out. Right, so as you can see, uh, once the handlebar is removed, it's just a question of finding the right angle uh, for you to slide the levers out from either side. So as you can see in the pictures, there's not much of a difference in the width uh, if you compare with the stock bars. The height maybe is a half an inch shorter on the black ones, but in my riding of close to a thousand odd kilometers post the installation, I have found these to be extremely comfortable. The overall fit and finish is just way better than the stock handlebar.
Okay, so when fitting the handlebar back on to the motorcycle, just ensure that you do not fully tighten all the bolts. You would want to adjust the handlebar angle to suit your riding style uh, once all the levers are fixed. So keep that in mind. There is a hole on the handlebar that is a marker for where the switch needs to be fitted. There is also a notch on the assembly that should be aligned with the handlebar uh, for the switch to fit correctly. Be mindful of that when you put the switch back on. The handlebar had these uh, horizontal as well as vertical markings that help you to center align the bars um, as well as adjust the angle uh, that you want the bars to be fixed. Uh, it really helps uh, in getting the angle right and more importantly uh, helps you to center the handlebar. And that is it. Once you're happy with the handlebar setting, tighten the bolt and you are good to go. As you may have uh, noticed, I have installed uh, the handlebar risers. Uh, this I got from a company called Moton Customs. Uh, when I was traveling in the US, I got it from their website. Uh, it looks really good on the motorcycle and it looks like uh, you know they are OEM parts. It does improve the comfort level especially you know when you are on long rides and also it suits my style of relaxed riding. That is it on this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks, bye bye.